Hi, everyone. Uh, we were doing combo circuits when class ended today. This is Friday. So I want to do one now or you can have a chance to look at this and go over it several times if you have questions. I hope you can see this. This is a 120 volt battery, a 25 ohm resistor, and then in parallel, a 20 ohm and a 60 ohm resistor. Don't worry about this thing right now. The first thing to do is to find the total resistance of the two parallel resistors. So we use the parallel formula. 1 over R total equals 1 over 20 plus 1 over 60. Several ways to solve this. Probably the easiest is just to find a common denominator, which in this case is 60. So that's 1 over R total equals 3 over 60 plus 1 over 60, which is equal to 4 over 60. And 4 over 60 is not R total. That's 1 over R total. So flip it to get R total. R total over 1 equals 60 over 4. R total equals 15 ohms. That's the parallel section. So I'm going to write a equals 15 ohms in there. Now as far as the battery is concerned, it's connected to a 25 ohm resistor in series with 15 ohms. The resistance between these two red dots is 15 ohms. And that's what I did over here. These circuits are equivalent. Here's a 120 volt battery connected to 25 ohms in series with 15 ohms. These are the same two circuits. So let's tackle the series one because that's easier. Let's find the voltage, current, and resistance, all that stuff for the series one right here. Uh, the total resistance is 40 ohms. Our total, you just add in series. That's a 120 volt battery hooked up to 40 ohms. So the current coming out of the battery is 3 amps. I total equals B total over R total. 120 over 40. 3 amps. And it's a series circuit, so the current is the same for all resistors. So we have 3 amps coming out of the battery. I equals 3 amps. And 3 amps going everywhere in the circuit. We have 3 amps through the 25 ohm and 3 amps through the 15 ohm resistor. And now we can use Ohm's law simply to find the voltage for each of those resistors. So for this one, V equals IR, we get 75 volts. This one, V equals IR, 3 times 15 is 45 volts. Now let's transfer that back to this one. All right, the 25 ohm, everything we found for this is true for this. We have to worry about what's going on between the red dots, but everything else is the same. So if we got 3 amps here, we get 3 amps here. 3 amps are coming out of this battery. Now let me erase this parallel stuff first. We could do Ohm's law for this whole circuit, just like we did for that one. B total equals I total R total. We have 120 volts total for the circuit. Let's pretend we didn't know it was 3 amps. The total resistance is 25 plus 15, or 40 ohms. So the total current is 3 amps, just like we said over there. So 3 amps goes through uh, this circuit coming out of the battery. The current through the 25 ohm resistor is 3 amps. And therefore, the voltage of this resistor, V1 equals I1, R1, is 75 volts. Just like we said over here, 75 volts. So all that's the same. Now we have to worry about what's going on between the red dots. The voltage between the red dots is 45 volts. I'm going to do that calculation again. I'm going to call this... V2, 3, pretending this is one resistor. That's equal to I2, 3, R2, 3. Um, we know the total current is 3 amps. We know the total resistance of that parallel section is 15 volts. So the voltage between the red dots is 45 volts. And now the trick is, because it's parallel, Voltage of all branches is also 45 volts, R45 volts. Voltage of all branches, the voltage of each branch is 45 volts. So V2 is 45 volts, 
V3 is 45 volts. And then once you have the voltage and the resistance, you're all set. Just find current using Ohm's law. Uh, I'm running out of room up there. Let's see. I'm going to erase this. We have a 20 ohm resistor whose voltage is 45 volts. So the current is V over R, 45 over 20. Um, that would be 240.5, 2.4, I think, wait, 20, 40, uh, 2.25, 2.25 amps, yeah, 2.25 amps. Down here, the current is 45 over 60, and I'm not even going to compute that, I know that's 0.75 amps. If you do in a calculator, it, it, that comes out to 0.75. I know that because there's three amps going through the circuit. So three amps comes into this parallel section. 2.25 amps goes up. So 0.75 amps must go down. And sure enough, this gives you 0.75. Then they recombine over here to get three amps again. And we're done. There's a lot of numbers on the board, but this is only a six-minute video, so hopefully uh, you can go over it again if you have questions, and just email me if you do. Hope that helps.